The project Postcolonial Hierarchies in Peace and Conflict is a collaborative network of the Arnold Bergstresser Institute, ABI Freiburg, the Center for Conflict Studies at the Philips University Marburg, the University of Bayreuth, and the University of Erfurt. The project is funded by the Federal Ministry of Education and Research over a period of four years. Hierarchies, the short name for the project, was launched in June 2022 with a roundtable at the FAUA Day Conference Africa-Europe Reciprocal Perspectives, hosted by the Africa Center for Transregional Research of the University of Freiburg. The launch of the network was focused on the topic Global Hierarchies and Reciprocity in Academic Knowledge Production, a Decolonial Approach to Peace and Conflict Studies. Post-colonial hierarchies have enduring consequences for violent conflict. But how is the practice of peace and conflict studies itself affected by post-colonial hierarchies? I mean, the thing is about peace and conflict studies, it's, uh, um, as it was said in the panel, it is really a sensitive area. We are talking about people who are uh, very vulnerable. Um, in the most vulnerable situations you can imagine, especially if they are um, refugees in uh, other countries or they are displaced in, in the same country where they are. And to, so to tackle such kind of you know, research, there is a lot of ethical questions that we need to consider. And it's, when I say ethical questions, it's not just about the consent of the people, but it's about also as researchers, we really need to think, you know, is it worth it to expose the life of people who are in, uh, like in suffering? Or is it, um, yeah, is it something that could actually bring more harm, you know, more in danger? So we need to consider these ethical questions. So is collaborative research a way to acknowledge and overcome post-colonial hierarchies in peace and conflict? The Wukabu series is a network of researchers and universities addressing north-south asymmetries in knowledge production. Scholars engage with the ethical and practical implications of conducting research in the study of conflict and violence in post-colonial societies. Hierarchies wanted to hear firsthand about the Bukavu series to strengthen ties for research and dialogue. Uh, for us, Bukavu series is more than a book. Uh, it's, it's a fight for, for change. Uh, it's, it's a call for, for more reflexivity, for dialogue and more humanity in the research collaboration process between Global North and Global South. Uh, researchers, between junior and senior researchers, and uh, especially in research collaborations. La recherche collaborative a deux dimensions. C'est-à-dire, une première dimension, c'est celle liée à la collaboration entre les institutions, entre les universités du Nord et du Sud, entre les universités du... Euh, les, les, les centres de recherche du Nord et du Sud, ça c'est déjà une dimension institutionnelle. Lorsqu'ils vont collaborer ensemble pour mettre des projets ensemble, pour le faire de manière collaborative. Ils vont échanger, par exemple, euh, soit ils ont des projets d'échange des étudiants, soit d'en ramener les étudiants à étudier vers le nord et si d'autres aller apprendre. Mais il y a une autre dimension de cette collaboration, moi j'appelle des trop macro, c'est celle-là entre le, le, les, les universités ou les instituts de recherche. Mais il y a une autre dimension que j'appelle micro, c'est-à-dire des collaborations entre les chercheurs du nord et les chercheurs d'ici. But collaboration, according to Professor Kuhn Flassenwood, also includes that we question the larger frameworks, the epistemologies. The real collaboration is in questioning these frameworks and looking for joint languages. Researchers in the Global South are often forced to look upon their own world through frameworks that are imposed. For me, um, what I got out, you know, especially with the discussions of, with the people, you know, the, the audience, it is obvious that um, we as 
Africans, we ask people from the global south, we ask people from the third world countries or whatever, you know, <laughs> we are called, you know. Um, we need to have more um, kind of sort of dialogue with each other because, um, I mean, we are starting that. There's, I mean, a lot of people are starting that, talking about that, but we really uh, need to stress more on such kind of dialogues and, and in a way that actually give us some more voice and more agents in, in developing all these corporations. Otherwise, um, we'll always be in this vicious circle of, you know, being the recipients and, um, yes, waiting for the mercy of, uh, yeah, the donors in the global north. And, and I think, yeah, the more we have corporations amongst uh, the southern universities, among the southern institutions, that will be um, my, yeah, that will make me very happy. <laughs> South-South dialogue is key, but is it the only way out? Is there still a chance for North-South collaboration to overcome post-colonial hierarchies in peace and conflict studies? According to Professor Jana Hönke, collaboration is also about bringing in and engaging with the knowledge that's produced globally in Africa and other regions as much as at Western universities. And to her, that should be a part of a conversation about collaboration, acknowledging what's there, putting it out there and making it more visible. To the, member of, 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 to the members of the round table, um, I, I really, I really appreciate the way uh, this conference is organized and, uh, and 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 our invitation to give our position on, on on research collaboration, on hierarchies in the research production, and yeah, the presence of Kunvla Sandrut, <coughs> Joseph Fatou Musamba, and other uh, other researchers on the table, I think this is very important because this. When we started talking about research decolonization, we thought we were a, 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 a small group somewhere in the world. But now I think the topic is being very, you know, it's now sensitive and everybody talks about it. Uh, I'm very, you know, I'm delighted and I think the voices and the message that have been, you know, um, that, that we talked about in the in, in the in the Bukavu series book and in the conferences in blogs have reached the, the target. You know, I, I think we still have a lot of work to do, but in the research in the industry, we I think the, the to implement the change we need, you know, uh, to go step by step because not everybody, you know, enjoys the way we are talking about these things. You know, so I think we need to be pragmatic, to go step by step, to, you know, to dialogue. Uh, and, and because I think that dialogue will be the, the effective way to implement the change in, in the global industry. So thank, thanks uh, for, for, for the invitation and uh, for the debates. Uh, I, I hope to, to read the final product of, uh, of these discussions after the conference. Thank you very much.